Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at RakeandProfit.com. Coming back to you with another video and I'm here in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina right now. And I was reading through some of the comments. I'm always checking the comments and there's people that are always wanting to start a business. And you know, I always recommend going to thrift stores, garage sales, Facebook Marketplace, um, auctions, there's so many ways to find inventory. So if you've never started reselling, that's definitely one of the best ways to go find inventory. But if you have been selling for a while, maybe for a year or two, and you know, you're trying to figure out how to scale your business, but you're finding that one of the biggest challenges is getting inventory coming to you because it's, it's tough. Like when you have to go out to garage sales, thrift stores, depending on where you live, we're actually in Myrtle Beach, we had a meetup yesterday. Some of the people, have to drive 30 45 minutes to get to some good thrift stores because there's not like a ton of thrift stores in this area so that is one of the biggest challenges is going out sourcing and it takes a lot of time but there's definitely a lot of competition now don't let that hold you back I mean all because there's competition doesn't mean there's not money to be made there's plenty to go around but if you find yourself where you've been reselling for a while maybe a couple years maybe you're doing a thousand bucks a month or two thousand you want to really get to five six seven eight or got crazy seagulls flying right by me in this video but if you want to scale you want to start looking at some other opportunities outside of just thrifting outside of just garage sales outside of just you know sourcing off of Craig's Craigslist and Facebook marketplace and there's a couple good options that I recommend um, one if you have capital so if you have like a couple thousand dollars you can definitely look at pallets and liquidation there's a whole bunch of different websites you can go to there's private companies there's also like bulk.com that's very popular the thing is you know some of these products they're kind of a pain in the butt to sell they could be damaged there could be issues um, and usually it's you know quite expensive with the shipping and whatnot but that's definitely an option is, is going through bulk and uh, liquidation another option is private label these birds are getting really really close I think I'm gonna get ripped off the balcony on this video uh, but look into private label. Private label is definitely an awesome option as well. It does take a good amount of capital, three to five, upwards to 10 grand to get started. And essentially private label is like, in a sense, think about when you go to a grocery store and you see maybe cereal that's branded by like Publix or branded by Stop and Shop or whatever. All they're doing is sourcing the generic product and putting their own brand on it and their own marketing and they're able to make a lot more margins versus having a source from like a brand that's gonna be much more expensive. So private label is great. There's tons of people making money right now on private label, just sourcing off Alibaba, going to China and putting their own brand on it. Definitely a good option, but it's a lot of work. You have to wear so many hats. You have to do all the sourcing, all the marketing, all the branding, all the packaging, all the PPC, which is uh, pay-per-click marketing. There's a lot of work, but it's a great opportunity. And the last one I want to talk about is wholesale, right? I'm not saying that wholesale is the best option. Private label could be great for you. Bulk and liquidation could be great. It depends on your capital, your goals. But I highly recommend wholesale um, because wholesale is really cool for a couple, a couple different reasons. Number one, you don't have to create your own product, right? Number two, right now on Amazon, one of the biggest challenges is a lot of stuff is getting gated and restricted. I want to know in the comments, put a comment down below if you've tried to sell something on Amazon and you're restricted and you can't sell it. That stinks. Well, the great thing about wholesale is you get invoices directly from the manufacturers, directly from the brands, and you automatically get ungated and unlocked for anything that you want to sell once you build the relationship. You get products coming directly to you. You get substantial discounts. I actually have quite a few friends of mine who are having a lot of success with wholesale and a couple of my mentors, Dan and Dylan, they've done over $25 million wholesale over the last, I think they've been doing it for about six years. And uh, they actually have a workshop that's gonna be going down on January 30th. So I'm gonna try to get this video up today. I think today is today's the 28th. So if you're seeing this video and you wanna learn about wholesale, definitely check it out. I'm gonna come in because we got some work going on outside, but definitely check out the free workshop. It's going down January 30th. And these guys have done, I think over $25 million and they have a special unique way of um, sourcing wholesale, which is called uh, reverse wholesale sourcing. So you definitely wanna check that out. So I'll put a link down below. But yeah, if you've been reselling for a while and you've been hitting the thrift stores and garage sales, but you're like, you know what? I just, I need to find a way to get inventory coming to me. I. You know, there's too much competition. I want to scale my business. I know that I have to spend time doing things that are going to generate revenue and just spending all my time sourcing. 
isn't working, definitely look into liquidation. Private label is definitely a great option. I recommend right now in 2020 wholesale. I think wholesale is a great opportunity and there's a lot of different ways to do wholesale. Um, just check out the workshop. The workshop starting, it's a four day workshop. It's 100% free. My friends Dan and Dylan will put it on. You'll learn all you need to know about wholesale, how to get started, how much money you need, how to source products, how to get products coming to you. Um, so check that out, rakingprofit.com slash free workshop. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm definitely enjoying this beautiful view of Myrtle Beach. It's nice out here. So drop a comment below, smash that like button, and check out that workshop and have an amazing day. Peace.